Hi, Mama Lori here with Lori's Laptop Lifestyle. And I'm just so excited. I was just uh, over to see the doctor today. I hadn't seen him in a couple of months because uh, he was off on medical leave. Unfortunately, uh, he had suffered a heart attack. And um, three months ago, well, prior to him having his heart attack, he uh, recommended that I go to the um, to see the heart surgeon in a, in a town called Kamloops, which is about three and a half hours from where I live. And uh, I was a little bit concerned about that appointment because I, as all my friends know, I follow a very strict uh, carnivore diet, which is very high in fat, <laughs> zero carbs if I can help it. And uh, of course, uh, every time I go to the, the doctor here in town, my cholesterol is quite high. And so of course that worries him. And I tell him not to worry because I say, how's my triglycerides and how's my um, HDL? <laughs> As if I know what I'm talking about. But, uh, and they are always excellent. So I say, you know what, I'm not going to worry if my uh, cholesterol is high because according to everything I've read and everything I watch on, on the YouTube channels that I follow uh, and all the doctors that do recommend uh, the carnivore diet, uh, I don't see a problem with this. Well, he was concerned and he sent me for some tests. Well, I couldn't get my test results back right away because like I said, he was, he was in... Uh, medically because he'd had a heart attack so today was day one and he's going over my reports and <laughs> I'm so happy <laughs> all of my tests for my heart my MIBI test my stress test uh, echocardiogram I think is what he called it there is no issues there now when I say no issues, there were issues before, a long time ago, because I actually had two stents put in. And it's after I got those two stents put in that I literally 100% made a complete change. That was in 2015. And I went on a strict, uh, at the time, uh, ketogenic diet. And I followed Dr. Ken Berry and Dr. Berg, Ken Berg, I believe, or I think his name is Ken Berg. And Ken Berry, I followed them to a T when it came to the ketogenic diet. And uh, things were going really, really well. And then um, June of last year, so June of 2022, I made the decision to um, go all in. And because I still had some health issues at the time and I couldn't seem to quite get rid of them. And um, some of the doctors that I was following online, which was Dr. Ken Berry, he had had some similar things to me, uh, you know, not being able to get rid of all of his Ish issues while following the ketogenic diet so he had gone on a carnivore diet so I thought you know what I'm gonna try it and I'm sure glad I did because even though I do have heart issues from before the ketogenic the carnivore diet nothing has gotten worse and I've got so many things that have gone right so I am, I was waiting for these test results to come in because I was very, very worried uh, about, you know, where, where this would all go. But the results I got today was, Lori, everything is looking great. Now, we're going to do some more blood tests right away to see where your cholesterol is at. <laughs> of course, we know where that's going to be. But he says, uh, everything is looking really good. I, I wish I would have recorded them because I can't remember all the words that he used on me. Um, I said, so there's nothing to worry about here. No prescriptions that have to be added. None of that. He goes, no, you're, he says, you're excellent. He says, and of course, he, he says, I don't know what you're doing, but just keep doing it. Well, I'm telling you guys, I follow a very strict regime. I follow a carnivore diet. And when I say strict, I there do I break it once in the blue moon? Well, the moon has to be really blue for me to break it. I do break it once in a while, but not very often. And when I do break it, I'm gonna be honest with you, 
it might taste good here oh good to the lips you know but look out hips I guess is the old saying when I do break it I suffer you have no idea I have an instant within a couple of hours arthritic flare-up inflammation and uh, by the time the, the next morning comes I've been up all night no sleep and I've been in pain so it's not worth it to break it it literally is not so anyways I do want to end this with with just letting you know you know don't give up on yourself I do have a video I think I uh, call that don't give up on yourself um, I, I, I love the transition that my body has gone through I'm 74 years old going to be 75 in 2024 here and uh, I'm in better health and in better shape right now at my age than I ever was when I was in my 30s and 40s so I'm saying to you don't give up there's always there's always room for improvement and there's always a doctor out there that's willing to listen to you and not be the traditional doctor with a with a prescription pad and ready to write you any prescription just to get to cover up the symptoms a lot of these young doctors they're a lot they're, they're savvy and they're willing to look into um, what's causing the problem so if you can find a doctor like that you know bless you that'll be that'll be the perfect combination now before I close this video I need to say to you that in my description area there's going to be a full disclaimer there is nothing that I'm saying on this video that is to be taken as medical advice this is just my personal experience what I'm going through right now and um, that's all I can say at this moment make sure you check the disclaimer that's in the description area I want to thank you for listening to me I uh, like I said I'm having a wonderful day today because of the wonderful report that I got and um, when you know you're on the right track don't let anybody talk you out of it you do what's right for you I love this saying that I heard once from some kid you do you I'll do me okay and that's the way it should be so have a great day this is Mama Lori with uh, Lori's Laptop Lifestyle signing out and uh, we'll see you in the next reel and I hope that that's uh, very soon bye bye for now